Hi, this is Healthy Food, Happy You. I'm Dominique, your host and nutrition coach. We have a very exciting program today. We are going to make some delicious and nutritious vegan food. But the highlight of the show is our guest. We are going to talk to a woman who has made such a difference in the community and in people's lives. Tracy McCorder is an author, public speaker, and public health nutritionist, as well as public health advocate. She is going to show us how a vegan diet can be as nutritious, healthy, delicious, and affordable as any other. Tracy, welcome to Healthy Food Happy You. Thank you. It's great to be here. Thank you for taking a break from your tour to uh, be with us today. Oh, it's no problem. Um, how long have you been vegan? I've been vegan now for about 20 years. Uh, what are you going to make for us today? Well, I'm going to make a spicy kale salad. This is a recipe from my book, By Any Greens Necessary. And in the book, it's called All Hail the Kale Salad. And I call <laughs> it that because this is one of the most popular recipes in the book. When I take this to potlucks, people love it. Kale is really a powerhouse vegetable. First of all, it's loaded with vitamin K, which is a bone strengthener. People think that they have to drink milk to get calcium. <laughs> um, to build strong bones, but actually if you eat a cup of kale, you are getting more than enough uh, vitamin K to build your to build your bones. If you can eat uh, kale several times a week, you're doing much more than you could ever do drinking a glass of milk. And this is actually what curly kale looks like. So I brought it in um, pre-cut or pre-torn into mm -hmm. pieces. So you basically want to chop it up and then add some olive oil. And mm -hmm. you liked this. This is extra um, virgin olive oil. So the next thing you want to add, this is Bragg liquid aminos, and it's kind of a healthier soy sauce. And I add this for What makes it healthier than soy sauce? Because it, it comes with all of the essential amino acids, the protein that you need, without the preservatives, without the MSG, and the artificial flavors that are often in you know the, right. the regular soy sauces. I use raw onions in this dish, red onions, because they're the healthiest because of the, the red color. But there's also yellow and white that you can use. Mm -hmm. But if you don't like the, the taste, the strong taste of the raw, you can saute them. Okay. And uh, in a little olive oil for about five to 10 minutes and break down the taste, break down the strong taste. And usually uh, it will make it much more palatable. And if you don't, again, you can use spring onion, you can use um, chives. You don't have to use onion if you don't choose to. Okay. Um, Garlic as well is what I add to this dish. And this is really what gives it just a wonderful smell. It's so fragrant. It's very pretty. And it gives it the spice, the spiciness and the spicy kale salad that you want. So you just want to mix this up. If you have time, it's best to leave this dish once you're finished for about 15 minutes to really break it down. And you will see it looks like you sauteed these greens. Now the next thing I add is something called nutritional yeast. Do you mm -hmm. eat this? Uh, yes, I do, do actually. Yeah, it's one of the rare ingredients that's mm -hmm. not meat-based that has vitamin B12. Exactly, it's loaded with B vitamins. And I, I usually use this in this, uh, the kale salad. I put it in popcorn uh -huh. with a little cayenne pepper, delicious. And to me, this gives it a kind of Parmigiani cheesy Cheesy taste. And it's optional, you don't have to use it, but it really kicks up the flavor a notch. Okay, so now you're going to add the tomatoes? Right, we're so almost done. Color. Just add the cherry tomatoes, makes it beautiful and vibrant. And then you just want to add avocado pieces mm -hmm. and mix that up a little bit and then we're done. We have a complete meal. Now we're getting the essential fatty acids from the avocados and Ab lots absolutely. of vitamin C from all of these ingredients. Right, and the thing is, is that it's loaded with color. It has greens, it has yellows, it has reds and purple from the onion. So that is how you know you're getting your nutrition. Wow. There you go. And it makes a beautiful presentation. And again, you can top it with anything you like, black beans, chickpeas. There you go. Here we are again with Tracy McCorder and her book, By Any Greens Necessary. Uh, Tracy, there is a caption underneath. Will you tell us about that? Yes, it's a revolutionary guide for black women who want to eat great, get healthy, lose weight, and look fat, which means shapely with nice hips. I am so glad you explained that <laughs> because um, 
I'm a foreigner, as you can tell from my accent, and I was wondering, what does this word mean? I couldn't find it in the dictionary. Right. So it's try. So I'm I'm uh, promoting being healthy, hippie, and happy by eating plant-based okay. foods. So not really. Being eating healthy is not about being skinny. It's about being healthy. Really. Right. It's it's about being healthy, keeping your gorgeous curves, mm -hmm. and eating healthy food in abundance, not deprivation. What is? Uh, why are you specifically targeting black women? I'm specifically targeting black women because while we are fabulous, we are also in a health crisis. We are one of the we are the unhealthiest group uh, in the country 80 percent of us are overweight and 50 percent of us are obese so this is a this is a serious crisis and all of the chronic diseases that go with being overweight high diabetes rates stroke um, heart attack heart disease in general hypertension mm -hmm. these are diet related preventable chronic diseases and the country as we all know um, has been in a health crisis for a number of for a number of years Michelle Obama is now um, promoting preventing childhood obesity mm -hmm. and you know it's not just children that are obese it's their mothers and their fathers their siblings so it's a family crisis mm -hmm. and it's hitting black communities worse than other communities but the whole country has a, a serious um, chronic disease issue so I'm targeting black women because we need to be targeted uh, are you saying that white women are in less of a crisis no everyone need everyone needs to eat healthier in this country we have a diet that is leading in it's leading us to have um, to die from high rates of heart disease, of stroke, of certain cancers and diabetes. So, and those are the top four killers in this country and they are primarily diet related. So everyone can benefit from eating more plant-based foods or going all the way to be vegan. It's just that black women in particular are in the worst shape when it comes to these chronic diseases. So because, we need to be targeted. Because and, we don't mm -hmm. have programs that target them specifically and they right. are not hearing the we don't have we don't, we don't have enough programs. I really think that people are just not getting the information. The information is, is out here. It's mm -hmm. been known for more than four decades that plant-based foods are the healthiest foods that we can eat. But the information isn't promoted. The science is not disputed, but the information is not promoted because it does not benefit right. the food industry to have people eat healthier foods.